All right, so we are ready to start our spring semester in our band club, and I want us to really pick up the pace and start moving a lot faster. Uh, and in order for us to really do that, we need to be acquainted with the Essential Elements Interactive website. So that's what I'm going to do with this video is get you started on that. Um, what you need to do first on your iPad or your Chromebook, whatever it is that you have, you need to go to this website in Chrome, EssentialElementsInteractive.com. And when you get there, you'll see a page that looks like this. You want to click the Students tab. And you're going to want to say, first time here, enroll in your class. Now, on the resources page of Haiku, on your extras where it says beginning band, I have put in a spreadsheet. And on that spreadsheet, you will see your school code, and you'll see all of your names, followed by an ID number. And the ID numbers are just assigned alphabetically 001, 002, all the way to 26 or 27, however many it turned out to be. So you're going to look up your ID number. Now in your school code, you're going to enter UT Tyler. Uh, it's going to be this right here, UT Tyler, capital I N N, capital B band 9. And then you're going to enter your student ID. And so in this case, I'll just put um, 001, which happens to be Matthew's ID, but it's irrelevant because when you hit enter here, you're going to see as an essential elements interactive student, I understand and verify the following. You want to click that you have a copy of the book, that you read the terms of agreement, and then you're going to enter the activation code from the book. Um, now, the activation code is located on the front page of your book, right below this yellow box right here. Okay, so that's what you're going to enter in in that space. Once you've done that, then it's going to ask you to create a username and a password. Make sure you pick something easy that you will remember um, because I'm not going to be able to help you with that. You're going to create your own login. Now, let me back out of this, and I'm going to log in with Seth's username so you can see what the student page looks like. Uh, so, uh, we set his up today, and we're signing in. Oops, that's not correct. Let's see. Okay, there we go. This is what you're going to see when you log into Essential Elements. Now, just so you know, I'm not going to assign assignments and a calendar and all that here. That's what we have Haiku for. What you are going to do in this is you're going to use this tool here, the Music Studio, to play and practice the lines that I assign you. Okay? And I'm going to assign you essentially one line for every day of school. I'm not going to assign you weekend lines. I'm going to assign you one line per day. So you can either practice all the lines every day between band practices, or you can practice one line a day until you're really good at it. But what you're going to do is when I assign the lines on Haiku, you're going to come into Music Studio. Okay, and you can go down here to this view song list, and you will see these are all of the lines that you find in your book. And the first one that I want us to start with is actually well, you know, I really like for us to start with "Ode to Joy" uh, because it's a good piece of classical music. So. Ode to Joy is line 57, so it's not on this page because it only goes 39. So you want to click the arrow, and here is Ode to Joy. So you click that, and it already knows what instrument you play because I've programmed it that way for your instrument. But if you wanted to see a different instrument, you could. Um, now, something else you'll notice is that you can have an accompaniment 
the concert band, and it will actually play for you the line so you can hear it, and it sounds uh, something, well, I don't think you can hear it if I play it on my computer, but you can hit the play button and play with the accompaniment. You can get a count, it'll count you off. You can um, slow it down. You can loop it back and back to back to back. And you could even record it if you wanted to. Okay. Um, if you want to turn off the accompaniment, we just, we can, uh, well, maybe you can't turn off the accompaniment. Anyway, so you can play this, let me see if it, and uh, hear what it sounds like. And that should help you to practice a little bit at home. Also, you'll notice that you have fingering charts. So on trombone, it shows you where all the slide positions are. And it shows you what position goes with each note. Okay, and that's going to be, of course, unique to each of your instruments. Anyway, for this week, I want you to look at um, Ode to Joy, mainly because it's a good piece of music. It might be something that we want to use for our concert later, just because people will recognize it. It's Beethoven. It's good. Um, the next piece that I want you to look at, or the next line I want you to look at, is on page 14. Uh, there's going to be some new concepts here, and I'm going to add some of these things on the haiku page so you remember what they are, but it's going to be line 59. You can navigate this way with these arrows, and we're here on fit to be tied, and the reason we're going to play this line is because it teaches you to play a tie, which is this little curved line here, and a tie basically just adds the two quarter notes together to create a two beat long sound, like a half note, but not a half note. So it's one, three, one, three, one, three, one, rest, rest. One, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, one. Okay, so we're gonna practice that one. And then the next one we want to practice is uh, the very next line, Alouette, uh, which is a French-Canadian folk song. You will recognize it as you play it, I'm sure. But when you play it, you're going to add the, the quarter note to the half note there, so it gives you three beats that you're going to play this note. And then on... Thursday, on Thursday, I want you to work on um, line 64, which is called The Nobles, and it would make a very good fanfare for us to play for a concert. Um, we're going to work on some style and dynamics with this, so it's not very long but it's a good fanfare for us to play and get people's attention. So this one is interesting because it ties the note across the bar line. So you play one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, rest. One, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. So you have that one note that ties across the, bit, the bar line, all right? So please log in to Essential Elements. Practice every day. Give me at least 30 minutes every day in your book, on the website. Use this website. We have a metronome. Uh, you should be able to slow it down and work on these things, play it back so you can hear it, record yourself, compare the recordings, all of those things will help you to get better, okay? We're going to continue to do this one new line per day 
and I'm going to try not to do a lot of repetition stuff. I'm just going to assign you the lines that teach you new things. And I will add clip videos as necessary to help you to uh, understand what we're doing. Okay? Uh, have a good week, and practice hard, and I'll see you Friday afternoon.